Good morning everybody if I'm a very sleepy me. <laughs> I'm not actually that sleepy, I just look like I've just woken up, which in theory I have. It is like 7.45. Harper woke up this morning at about 5 to 7 I think it was. She's got out of waiting for a son. Um, though she has a grow clock and she used to wait for it religiously all the time and I think it's with the issues that we're having with her ears at the minute she's up and down but the last two nights that we have put drops in because we went back to doctors I don't think I've told you um, I've been concerned for her ears I think she's I've been concerned because I thought she was going deaf and she oh, yeah. wasn't hearing us and she was really 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 loud I took her to doctors first time about six weeks ago and he said oh, it's just a little bit blocked blah 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 I don't even think he said that. He said, oh, it's a little bit watery in one ear. Um, does she have problems with her ears? No. Uh, just give her some paracetamol when she complains of ear which is not really the answer, yeah. but I, uh, you trust what they say, don't you? So, it never got, and it never got any better. Like, her, she was shouting more. Her ears, to me, when I shine the torch in, just looked oh, horrific. It was just yeah. looked full on blocked. So, Alex took her back last week. But to another doctor, um, a lady doctor, a really nice doctor, and said her ears are terribly blocked. Like, really, really blocked. Like, there's not much room around the outside to even get air in for this, for the wax to do anything. Or, I don't know, really. But, yeah, so now we've got some drops. And the last two nights that we've been using the drops, she's slept all the way through. She hasn't been sleeping through for a long time. Um... But I think, as I say, that's because of her ears. So fingers crossed we've cracked it and her ear wax and whatever it is else is in there is starting to dissolve with these drops. And yeah, hopefully she'll be able to hear probably soon. Oh. Bless, I feel really bad. Zach man right now is actually looking Ooh. through a recipe book to try and find out what he wants for his, um, for his tea, aren't you? <laughs> Spinach. Spinach and ham tart. Ooh. No. Oh. Why don't you want that? You like tuna? No, dirt. I hate it. No, you don't. You used to love it. <coughs> oh, bless you. Goat's cheese and tomato tart. Hairbird. Hairbird. Hairbird cheese puff. <laughs> I don't know what it says. Herbed. Herbed. No, no. <laughs> Hebbed. Hebbed. No. <laughs> I can't say hebbed. Hebbed. <laughs> I say hebbed. Yeah, but it's just hebbed. Hebbed. No, just hebbed. Hebbed. <laughs> that one looks good, sir. Pea, ham, and potato. Potato oh. omelette. What do you fancy for your tea tonight, mate? Omelette. You want omelette tonight? I haven't got that one. Okay. This one is obsessed with these two. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hutchie loves you, doesn't he? Yeah. He always looks at me. He always looks at your neck. He likes to look when I can miss it. What was you just saying about your friends then? Oh! Uh, Aww, and what did you say to them? Shut up and just But yeah, some some people are scared of doggies though. But they're not our dogs. They might be, you never know. not the one I bite. I know, we know that, but other people might be a little bit scared of them. Who can not scared of his dog? Who? Doggies. No, Dobby's not scared of his dogs, but are you scared of his dog? No. Nah. Little bit. You are a little bit because he's big, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. But not the little one. Not the little one. But some people are scared of doggies. <laughs> I was scared of doggies when I was little. Yeah. Really? Like no. Yeah, when you were little, like as little as you. Yeah. Yeah. I was really scared of doggies. Like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you put bagels in the toaster? Yeah. Do you put bagels in the toaster? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. I, just... I don't want to put my I might have breakfast toaster. all in my teeth. And I, and I will. I've just given the kids 
some bagels. Never cooked bagels or done bagels in my life. But Alex bought them this week. And he's just said to me, you need to put them in the toaster. Do I need to put them in the toaster? Should I put them in the toaster? <laughs> look, on, yeah. look, I did look on the pack and it didn't say anything. I did look on the pack and it just said, like, ideas. But it doesn't say anything. Uh. Did it? Yeah. The original bagel, toasted and topped. <laughs> Wholemeal bagel topped with crushed rubber. I don't think you have to. Yes, you do. No. You do. I don't think you... Oh, wait. Let's have a look on the bottom. I didn't know it was on the bottom. It doesn't taste nice. <laughs> what spellings have we got this week, then? Real and capital. Like, real. Capital. Turtle. Turtle. Metal. Metal. Animal. Animal. Special. Special. And meal. Meal. That's good, well done. We are home, we are warm. We have been at rugby this morning. It has been freezing. I managed to palm Harper off in a nice way um, to a friend who was actually inside with the smaller ones. So she went in there looking after the babies and I went outside looking after Zach. But he was just bit, it was just bitter. He was so cold, his hands were freezing cold. So he came off, I think about 20 minutes before, no because they finished early, so about 10 minutes before the end. They're just warming up now, I'm gonna get him in the shower. I have just walked in to my first penalty notice. First ever penalty notice as a parent for not sending your children to school. This is for 10 unauthorised absences for when we went to Centre Parks, which just sucks to be honest, because what was I just telling you yesterday about how well Zach is doing and how he's excelling in like everything and he's higher than he needs to be and all this lot. And then you get this through because he had a week off at Centre Parks when the rest of his, like I don't know if you can really see that, the rest of his um, attendance is like, 100% apart from that one week that we took him away for centre parts to see Santa and do all the winter wonderland stuff Gets me so mad so mad if you took the mick and if you took your kids out Month in month out and for, for days on end or you wasn't that bothered about your child Or you took your child out when they were struggling and you didn't do anything to help that child Take stuff home do stuff at home um then I understand it. I understand it if you're taking the mic. We clearly aren't taking the mic as per his registration certificate and we still get lumbered, both of us, me and Alex, with a £60 fine for going to Centre Parks. So I'm not happy today. I'm not happy bunny opening that up at all. I am a bit peeved, um, but it's done. This is my way of thinking right now. They've done it. It's done. It's dusted. I need to pay it. I need to try and make some money to pay it. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to... The only good thing is about this is that it's £60 for 10 or more. So I could take him out for three weeks and it will still be £60. So that's good that they don't do it like per holiday, you know, I mean per, per 10 session, per week, and it's not like £120, if it's all in one thing, and it's over the 10 sessions, then you just get one penalty notice, so that's good for like long haul, long, you know, drawn out holidays type thing, but just text, I'm just a bit nat, really, <laughs> to be honest, but what can you do? So on that note, I've decided I'm going to pick up where I left off with match betting um, and see what I can do on that to try and pay for them two penalty notices. If you don't know what match betting is, it's not what you think it is. Just by me saying betting, it's not betting. You have to read about it to actually understand it. It's um, a win-win thing if you like i don't know what you would call it if you are interested in reading about it check out the link to my blog down below and i talk about it in there quite a lot 
I haven't done it for so long because it does take a lot of time but if you're short on cash and you need a little bit like I do for them really it's Saturday in particular are good days because obviously you get your football weekends are football horse racing and other sporting events so yeah go check it out down below match betting if you are short of a few bob you do have a little to, you do have to start with a little bit you do have to have a little bit of a pot luckily Alex has been paid and he got paid on the last day of the Friday so I have got a little bit of a pot but just so you know it's not as easy as just going out and making money you do have to sit down concentrate work on it and see what's best for you really so again link down below go check it out and have a read on match betting because that's what i'm going to be doing this afternoon zach absolutely loves watching horse racing it's like which one do you need to win but which one do you need to win and it's really good because he doesn't understand like it's money he just thinks it's fun and yeah the horses love it he's like go on go on you know when you really want to say something and you really want to tell somebody something but you really can't or you want to share something and you really, really can't. Well, I'm feeling like that right now. I'm not giving you any clues whatsoever. But I am feeling like that right now. That is all you're getting. So how did my betting go today? Or oh, my matched betting? I'm not going to say betting because it's not gambling. Um, Not too bad. I potentially or, or i did win a race which allowed me a risk-free bet on the next race but i didn't have time to put on the next bet so i didn't lose anything i just missed out on about maybe 30 40 pounds something like that which is a it's a bugger but i didn't lose anything that is the main thing i didn't lose anything today it didn't cost me anything i had very 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 minimal qualifying losses which again this might sound like you totally don't understand what i'm talking about but check that link out down below and because that horse won meant that all my money went into the exchange which takes a few days to come back into my bank account so i'm a little bit stumped i have no money to play with um but yeah it's it's all right it, i got 20 pound free bet from one bookie um that i need to that i'll probably use tomorrow because it was later on in the day uh so yeah i'll be back on that again tomorrow in the hope i can try and accrue some pennies for that 120 pound fine alex has just come in and guess what i have asked for tea i can't quite believe it i have asked for a chinese takeaway and chicken balls that's because we went to wings last weekend i just fell in love with the chicken balls they were good chicken balls. Chicken balls, chicken balls, chicken balls, chicken balls. Look at what my wonderful, darling, loving husband's just bought me. It is a well-deserved reward, isn't it, Alex, for being... <laughs> For being so good this January so far. I have done really well in not eating chocolate and not eating sweet stuff, haven't I, Alex? I have done, I? Like, really well. Apart from when we went to Wings and uh, when we've had cookie dough and... About 20 times. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've been a lot better than I normally am. So this, this is going to go down nice this night. And I'll be back on it tomorrow, won't I, Alex? I, can't I only had one hot dog today. One's enough though, isn't it? One's too many, let's be honest. Why? Well, horrendous pig, aren't they? I normally have two. I only had one hot dog today. I had my Weetabix today and a few little ice gems that half I didn't eat. That's all I had today. And then went for the chicken balls and the Chinese and the chocolate tonight, which is fine. It's fine. It's good. It's a good balance. It's a good balance. Have you had a nice day back at work today? Yeah, I love it, yeah. You've only got two days. I don't want to go on. Well, you've always got something to say. Just say, love you, got it, got it a bit wrong there. I've, I've been at work one day today and I've only got one more day left. You've only got one. I'm not looking forward to Monday. Like, ah, I am not looking forward to Monday at all. Ow! That wasn't a... 
Monday's Boy, going that away. was like a pun. We're the last Monday. We have to. Really yeah, I know. We do have Monday. to. We do have to. So I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to eat all of this chocolate. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to attempt to eat Maybe. all the chocolate. I'm going to try. Maybe not. Okay. Um, and we shall see you again tomorrow. Bye, guys. Just got in before you said bye, my buddy. Bye. See you tomorrow. I'd already said that. <laughs>